The biggest tour of Te Reo Māori Theatre on stage in our country's history is currently underway and has debuted in Auckland as part of the Matariki Festival. It's called He Kura e Huna Ana and actors Te Pūwai Tanga Winterburn and Scotty Cotter join us now to tell us all about it. Welcome to you both. Yay! Yay! This sounds seriously exciting. Uh, let's start with you, Scotty. Um, what is the production about and what does it stand for? Um, this one is a thing that Hohepa Waitua, the writer, wanted to merge with an old uh, story from South Island, which is about the creation of Ponamu and um, current day and try and blend them. So it talks about a lot of the issues that happened with that story in the current day world. So and, and, and mental health involved in it as well. Yeah. So how do we get from Greenstone to mental health? Well, it's it's sort of where the Tanifa took her and how we've all got that inside of us. So it's one of those things that he tries to bring out and to, for us to look back to our um, old stories to try and help us deal with, with, with what's happening in the world. And he kura e huna ana, what does it actually translate to? Um, the the jewel that's inside of us, that's hiding inside of us. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. And to yeah. Paul Waitanga, Trisha. welcome to the show. Kia ora. Um, it's so nice to have you. This is, um, you know, fairly new for you, this whole big production thing. It is. How's it been going? Yeah, um, this is my first professional theatre production um, since graduating from Toi Fakari last year. So it's exciting. Wow, what yeah. I want to be involved in as well. Totally, and to really sink my teeth into and um, you know what a great opportunity mm. um, to showcase our Māori language. So what's your role? Uh, I play Hine, I play two characters, uh, Hine um, who is the lead and we follow her journey throughout um, the, the performance. I, I never leave the stage. Wow. wow, that's, yeah. that's tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so once yeah. you're on, it's just go, go, go. It is, And, yes. and Scotty, how do you think she's going so far? She's doing good. You know, it's a hard show too because the deal is so um, beautiful and it's mm. it's a lot of concepts that he's put into the words. So Pauai is doing fantastic. Mm. Doesn't take a break. And you play two characters as well, don't you? Because yeah. you were on the show last year with Bree Peters, weren't you? Yeah. About the wholehearted. Yeah, we so, did that and we taught it, but this time... Uh, we're doing the same spots that we did with that one as well. But you've got two characters in the show as well? Mm -hmm. I play Tinny and Potini, who's a Tanifa. So it's really, I made it difficult for myself and made him quite physical. Mm. So halfway through the season, I was just like, oh man, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> all for our benefit though. There we go. Okay. Um, and the use of Te Reo, is it all in Te Reo? It is. And um, what I think is important is that uh, this uh, He Kure Hunana is showcasing Te Reo Māori inside uh, theatre spaces, main stage theatre spaces across Aotearoa. And really, um, you know, it's the beginning of normal. normal Normalising Te Reo Māori within these spaces. Yeah. Will, yeah. will I understand it if I don't understand Māori? Yeah, there's been many people who have come to the show who don't speak Te Reo Māori that have come out and understood what the yeah. story is. I mean, mm. with actors like yeah. Scotty and Tanya Heke, um, you know, it, they really bring out the story. And so, so what are your own experiences with Te Reo Māori? Do you, did you both grow up speaking it? Are you fluent? No, I'm not fluent. I'm still learning it at the moment, but the thing, you know, that I find incredible is that I found it in something that I love doing. Mm. So I found doing te reo in theatre because I'm not really good in classrooms, I yeah. just get If you get that passion off. for something, then yeah. really, it helps you learn something. And then we've just found it? each other in this round, which is cool. Mm. Excellent. Mm. What about you? Um, yeah, I grew up um, speaking te reo Māori, um, bilingual. Um, my, in my whānau, I have uh, four generations of fluent te reo Māori speakers, so... Ah. Yeah, it's quite What, a, you, what are your thoughts on people mm. that just give it a go? Because for me, like, I'm part Māori, I never was immersed in it, and recently on the show, Anika Moa came on, mm. and she told me off for calling her Anika Moa, and that really made me nervous and scared, actually, every time I head towards a Māori name. So for people that are trying, should they just give it a go, or should they make sure they've got it right before they give it a go? Uh, I, I think give it a go, definitely. Um, and the more we can uh, hear it around us and um, you know encourage each other to speak it, the more that we can, I guess, move forward. Mm. Yeah. And I think the In only way you, you're going to learn something is if you give it a go. And yeah. Try. And how hard try. is it, Scotty? Oh man, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> like when I first picked up the script, I was just like, man, this is just this is just a completely different language to me. Mm. Yeah. Which is something scary, but then also exciting, you know, getting the help from the director, Nancy Bunning, and Ho Hepa, the writer. I was just like, yeah. I can tackle this. Yeah, no problem. So tell us, how, what's it like working with Nancy? 
Oh man, I love her, but she uh, she's a hard director. We recognise her as an actress as well. Yeah. She, um, Shortland Street. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, back in the day. Oh, it slipped my mind. It'll come to me in a minute. Yeah, she's one of. The, she's an acting director too. So she really asks the mm -hmm. questions from an acting point of view. Where you've got to think more when you, you know, when you normally have to or don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of thinking more, when you look at how long it takes to get a play together, it's a big process, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. How long has it taken to get this one off the road? We had three weeks to get this all together right. down in Wellington, so it was it was a rush to the finishing line. And how long, <laughs> how long was it before you even got it to the point where you could perform it, so to speak, in terms of the development of the story? Uh, it's been, I think, about three, four years he's wow. been working on it. Wow, that's amazing. So we did it last year with a different cast in Christchurch and Dunedin. That was the development season of it, and now that we've done it again, mm. standing it up again and touring it around the North Island. I remember who Jackie was, uh, who, who Nancy, Nancy was. was. Actually, I didn't remember. Someone just told me in my ear. <laughs> Jack, it was Jackie Manu, Nurse Jackie. Yeah. Jordan Street, of course. <laughs> there um, you go. Do you, do you hope that this production is going to be the start of so much more at Te Māori in the big th theatre spaces? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think it is the beginning of normalising uh, Te Reo Māori inside the theatre spaces. And I'm excited. Mm. It's, it's exciting. And you've also yeah. got new writers coming through like Kimo mm. Holton, Ani Piki, um, Crystal Lee Brown, you know, who are quite strong in the deal and who are writing for theatre in Te Reo Māori, which is, you know, exciting and awesome. Yeah. And the great thing is you're normalising everything involved, normalising Māori in big theatres, you're normalising the use of the language, mm. you're just mm. normalising it all. Mm. Feeling very proud, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got this one. What's next for both of you? Um, I, um, I've got two and a half weeks break and I go into Kororareka with Red Leap Theatre Company. Excellent. Yeah. That's what you want. Straight out of drama school and straight yeah. into it. Mm. And what about you, Scotty? Yeah. Uh, after this, I got one day off and then I head back into work with Massive Company with the new show that uh, Kura Forrester and Sam Scott are directing, written by Miriamma McDowell, Denise Sua and Fiona Graham. Crikey, throw those yeah. in there, why don't you? Mm. That'll be fun. Throw <laughs> a whole day off, oh, you'll be fine. Yeah. Two and a half weeks, that looks like a But they love it, they love it now, that's why. It's all <laughs> oh, awesome. Hey guys, well thank you so thank much. You. Thanks Good for having us. Nice. Uh, he Kore Huna Ana plays at Auckland's Herald Theatre until Saturday and then in Hamilton and New Plymouth next week. You can check out the Takiro website for ticket details. Yeah, do head along and support this incredible show.